Wow, look at that. It's almost like a pie. It's, it's I think it's the largest brownie I've ever made. Hi guys, it's Bushcraft Baking here. I'm out in the forest enjoying a walk when I came across a strange mystical circle. I guess it's kind of a witcher circle, you can see it right over there. All sorts of strange stuff going on, which for some obscure reason put me in the mood for some brownies. So that's what I'm going to make today, some nice skillet brownies. Okay, awesome, let's get those brownies cooking. Uh, what I'm going to use to make the brownies is um, the, um, a small cast iron skillet. And this cast iron skillet is nothing more than the lid of my smallest Dutch oven, works, works like a charm. I'm uh, going to use some tin foil with the, the skillets. I'm uh, going to use my solo stove, uh, which is an excellent stove. I'm going to have to uh, collect some firewood later on. I uh, brought along a brownie mix I've prepared at home. You can use whatever brownie mix you want. Uh, if you want to use mine, I'll put up the recipe in the description. Uh, I'm going to use one egg, and I've brought along a small Cochlin camping grill, which works uh, uh, quite nice with the cast iron uh, uh, skillet. So let me set things up, and I'll start baking. I'm going to build up a, a little bed of coals in there to cook over. Uh, I've oiled my skillet a little bit, just a little uh, sunflower oil. I'm going to prepare my, uh, my brownie mix inside of the skillet. Uh, but for, before I do that, I'm going to uh, uh, first put in the egg. So what you want to do is, before you put in the brownie mix, you have to uh, well, really uh, give the, air, the egg a little stir to break it up, like this. Now to put in a little bit of oil. Just a little bit. And just a little bit of water. Now we're going to mix that up. And now I'm going to put in the brownie mix and just put in a little bit at a time and stir that up. And what, you go, what you're looking for is uh, kind of a, well, a, thick, uh, a thick paste. Alright, I've prepared the brownie mix inside of the skillet as you can see. And what we're going to do now is a little trick. Uh, we're, we're going to create a baking environment uh, only using uh, heat from the bottom. And uh, the way we're going to do this is, uh, well, we've brought along a cast iron skillet and the cast iron really uh, takes the heat uh, in well. It really uh, builds up uh, quite a bit of, bit of heat in there and the residual heat uh, will be enough to bake the uh, brownie because uh, a good brownie, uh, it's uh, soft and chewy on the inside so you don't really need a lot of heat. The way we're going to use that is by using a little tin foil and we're going to fold this tin foil uh, really over the skillet. So we're going to cover the skillet and then put the skillet over the stove. And now this is going to take, uh, once you hear it uh, start to sizzle, it's going to take about five to, uh, to eight minutes. I think eight minutes uh, all in all. And then uh, you put it off, uh, put it off with the heat and then just let it cool. As you can see the stove is burning well. So let's take a peek. Ooh, looking nicely. Brownie is rising. As you can see, bubbles are uh, starting to form. Uh, that's perfect. We're going to leave this on for about five minutes more and then we'll uh, remove it from the fire. It's been about eight minutes, so let's check how we're doing. Ooh, looking perfect. So we're going to remove this from the fire now. And we're going to just let it. Uh, sit there. Uh, the residual heat in the cast iron will be more than enough to uh, uh, finish cooking the, the brownie. I'm going to use the rest of my twigs uh, to make some tea and uh, I think I'll enjoy my brownie uh, with a nice uh, cup of tea. My tea is brewing 
So let's get ready for the big reveal and remove the tin foil from the brownie. First let's see if it's uh, cooled down a lot. Yep, it's definitely uh, hot but uh, cool enough to touch. So let's remove the tin foil. Wow, look at that. I've cut it up, it's a little bit hot to touch, but look at that. All sorts of chocolatey, chocolatey goodness uh, going on in there. I'm going to finish my tea, have some brownies and enjoy the rest of the morning. Well guys, I guess the magical powers of the witcher circle behind me did the trick, because my skillet brownie turned out awesome. I'm going to enjoy finishing up the rest of my tea and the rest of this brownie. Uh, see you guys in the next video. If you have any requests, comments or questions you would want to ask me, put them in the comments and I'll get back to you. And otherwise, see you guys in the next video and happy baking. Mm. Mm.